body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Elena, forgive me. No! Get the drill out! Get the drill out! The end. Watch it. His body is shutting down now. Naturally. What if but the credits just started rolling trauma, right there? He will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now. Or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. Weird. This is the most weird part of the game in my opinion. You have taken control of a little sister. I know this feels a bit strange, Father. But now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. Weird. This is just... This has always been weird. Crawl through the vent there. <clears throat> All right. Good. Now, inside Mother's office, there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. A hidey hole. Fantastic. No wrong way. He is a mighty man. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big cyst suit. Please, bring them to me. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments 
from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Mm -hmm. Daddy meets Dr. Gilbert. Weird without a cursor or anything like that. Mother says that my condition is a blessing in disguise. She constantly reminds me that I was born for the express purpose of promoting her ideals. And now, she's trying to convince me to begin splicing with the same cocktail that drove Dr. Alexander mad. She thinks that my condition makes me immune to the damage. The surface is my only chance at freedom. Mother took the one person I knew from above and murdered him in front of my eyes. Father, if I could only find a way to bring him back. Good girls, yeah. Good girls! Actually, it's more like a big girls. They don't cry like right that. Get over here, you goddamn puppy! <laughs> big girls. They don't cry yay yay. They don't cry. Daddy is the best. Oh, look at that. Daddy meets Aunt Gracie. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. You look like a white dress, huh? <coughs> Years, father, stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. What? Oh. Every day is Daddy's Day. Yum-tastic. Daddy... what? Daddy meets Uncle Stanley. I've been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them.